Welcome to another exciting Bible trivia quiz. This week, we are deep into the Old Testament with 20 questions about healing and restoration. We hope to remind you that God's healing and restoration are still at work today, so keep trusting Him. Comment below to let us know how you did or if you learned something. Okay, let's go. Who was healed of leprosy after dipping seven times in the Jordan River? Was it Moses, Naaman, David, or Solomon? It was Naaman, thanks to the slave girl's advice, as we see in 2 Kings 5. Which prophet prayed for King Hezekiah's healing? Was it Isaiah, Jeremiah, Daniel, or Ezekiel? Hezekiah was healed after Isaiah prayed. Read 2 Kings 20 and trust God for your healing. Which prophet saw a valley of dry bones coming back to life as a symbol of Israel's restoration? Was it Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, or Daniel? It was Ezekiel, as seen in Ezekiel 37. Who was restored to land after living in a fish's belly? Was it Jonah, Noah, Adam, or Abraham? It was Jonah after being thrown off a ship. Read Jonah 2 for more details. Who was restored to his family after being sold into slavery by his brothers? Was it Moses, Joseph, Aaron, or Joshua? It was Joseph after forgiving his brothers. Read more in Genesis 45. Who was healed after praying for his friends? Was it David, Solomon, Daniel, or Job? It was Job, as seen in Job 42. Remember to pray for others. What unusual method did God use to heal Hezekiah? Prayer and fasting? Figs? Touching a priest or using mud? It was figs, unusual indeed. Read Isaiah 38 for more. Who prayed and God restored his strength? Was it Saul, Samson, David, or Solomon? After Delilah weakened him, God restored Samson's strength. Check out Judges 16. Who was restored to his land after being in exile for 70 years? Was it Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Hosea, or Daniel? It was Daniel, as seen in Daniel 9. God still restores families. Who was healed and God added 15 years to his life? Was it David, Solomon, Saul, or Hezekiah? In 2 Kings 20, we learn it was Hezekiah. Your life is in God's hands. Who was restored to his position after being in the lion's den? Was it Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, or Hosea? It was Daniel, as seen in Daniel 6. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Who was healed from his leprosy after his servant girl suggested he see the prophet in Israel? Was it David, Solomon, Naaman, or Saul? It was Naaman. This story is in 2 Kings 5. Who was restored to his position after interpreting the king's dream? Was it Daniel, Moses, Aaron, or Joshua? It was Daniel, as seen in Daniel 2. Use the gifts God gave you. Who was restored to their position after being in the fiery furnace? Was it Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Jeremiah, Ezekiel, or Hosea? It was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, as seen in Daniel 3. God can restore you. Who was healed from his sickness after God added 15 years to his life? Was it David, Hezekiah, Solomon, or Saul? It was Hezekiah, as seen in 2 Kings 20. Keep trusting God. 
Which prophet prayed for Abimelech and his household and they were healed? Was it Moses, Aaron, Joshua or Abraham? It was Abraham. The story is in Genesis 20. God still heals. Who was healed from his blindness after God opened his eyes? Was it Balaam, Samson, David or Solomon? Who It was Balaam. The story in Numbers 22 includes a talking donkey. Which prophet prayed for the healing of the land after a severe famine? Was it Elijah, Elisha, Isaiah or Jeremiah? It was Elijah as seen in 1 Kings 17. How many sons and daughters did God restore to Job? Five sons, three daughters, seven sons, three daughters, ten sons, five daughters, or three sons and two daughters. It was seven sons and three daughters, according to Job 42. Final question. What did Elisha do to restore the Shunammite woman's son? Pray and fast? Lay on the child? Sacrifice? Or send a message? He laid on the child, as seen in 2 Kings 4. Thank you for watching. Did you learn anything? We'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment below to let us know. And don't forget, if you enjoy these quizzes, hit that like button, share with your friends, and subscribe to stay updated on future quizzes. May God bless you and your family.